Adinam the Kanu should stop disturbing the nation with Biafra agitation. Joe Ibokwe begs. Leader of Lagos APC and Nnam the Kanu's critics, Joe Ibokwe, has resumed his fight against the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Joe therefore advised that Nnam the Kanu should be slow in his agitation for the Republic of Biafra, or he will encounter what he cannot face. He said, no one can divide the country because Nigerian peace is not negotiable. Whenever I looked at Namde Kanu, I laugh because he doesn't know what he's doing. He should slow down or be ready to face what is bigger than him too. Nigerian peace is not negotiable. He should stop disturbing the entire nation with his selfish agitation. Those close to him should warn him. Nigeria is a peaceful country and we are happy being one. Thank you for listening to this news. Joe Ibokwe Joe Ibokwe Joe Ibokwe or whatever your name is called, I don't know where you, you emanate from. You, I don't know the, the part of Southeast you came from because I know you are an, you are an Igbo man. You are part of those Southeast leaders, Igbo leaders that uh, we are talking about. You are part of those Southeast leaders that um, Bishop Emmanuel Chukuma was talking about. You can see yourself. See how you are fooling yourself in the public. Talking as if you, 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 you don't even exist in this world. The way you just talked right now is just like the way a little child that has just been given birth we talk. An evil man like you see what you are saying in your own mouth. It means that you enjoy seeing your people suffer. It means that you enjoy the pain your people are going through. I know you are okay where you are, but then you don't care of what your fellow Igbo man or woman is passing through. You are aware of the problem the Igbos are experiencing in Nigeria. It's not as if you are not aware of the 1967 Biafran war that took place. How Nigeria rubbished the Biafrans. Not as if you are not aware of the pains Igbos are undergoing in the different states in Nigeria. Are we to talk about the Southwest? Lagos, precisely. Go there and see the intimidation, the level of intimidation on the Igbos. Go there and see the threats the Igbos are undergoing. In the Southwest, the Igbos are the highest taxpayers, whereas everyone does the same business in that Lagos state. In that Lagos, the Igbos have been pushed around as if they don't even exist, as if Nigeria is not even their mother's land. In Nigeria as a whole, Igbos are denied of political position Till, to, till date, Igbos have never been given that opportunity to mount that seat. And you are sitting there, confidently, confidently ranting, saying that Nigeria is not negotiable. <laughs> Who are you to say that? Who are you? What is your position? What right do you have in this country? When men of calibers are speaking, you are speaking. Do you know with Mazinam the Kano? You should look for your level 
and start rubbing shoulders with them and not with the great leaders of Pierre France. Look at great people in the Igbo, in, in Igbo land. Who knows what they are passing through? See how they are agitating, crying for freedom. And you, you of all people, you cannot, instead of you to join them in the queue, you are there saying rubbish. Look at the Bishop of Bishop of Aklikan supporting the Igbos, saying it that it is time for Igbos to, to rise. Saying it that the Igbos need to elect a leader and that leader that will be elected will need to be supported. <laughs> you are the typical example of what of what the Bishop of Anglican Church is talking about. That you, you are the reason why the Bishop of Anglican Church is tagging the Igbo, the Igbos as Confucianists. You are one of them, but you can never succeed because the Igbos are born to succeed. They are born to excel. Not even you can stop them. The actualization of Biafra is already at the corner. The realization of Biafra is already at doorstep. The Biafrans must be free. Buari is aware. <laughs> Look at you. Where were you when Nnamdi Kano is making all the moves? Where were you when Nnamdi Kano was going to different, to different uh, 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 international organization, international group, international country, to table it before them, making them to know the need for Biafran actualization. Where were you when the United Nations was granting them uh, endorsements? Where were you when European Union was approving the freedom for Biafra? Where were you when United States of America was supporting them for the agitation? Ha, I love you. You are too little. You are too little for these people. You are saying that you laugh when you listen to Mazinam the Kano talk. Where have you gotten to? What do you think is bigger than him than losing both of his parents? Being rejected by Nigerians, what remains of him is his own life, but he preferred dying for what he believed. And than to remain in perpetual than, than to remain in perpetual slave like Joe Ibokwe to foreign land. Someone that lost his parents in the struggle. He left his country. Even when he, he when he needed when he needed them most, he left he left his people as a prince when he, when they need him most. He left and ran away to the international country. He was there, even while he was there, he was still struggling, fighting for the republic. And you are here, seeing all sort of nonsense. I think it is time for you to relocate to to Sambisa Forest. Yes, that, that is where you should be because you are not needed in the southeast. I wish I knew your home. I would have called for your for the dismissal of, 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 of your family. I'm telling you the truth. Can you imagine a statement from a, from a southeast leader? You see what you're talking about? The, the, the Bishop of Africa just said it, that the Igbo's problem starts from their leaders. Their problem started from their leaders. He said it that if, if only the the leaders, the Igbo leaders, like that, like like the governors, the governors, the governors of different states, of different of, of different Igbo states, and the organizing in the Igbo, and the top Igbo leaders can come together, appoint a leader, give him that push and support, that Biafran will be realized by force. But then, there is no need for people like you because the Biafra has actually been realized. The people that want to support are supported. The people that don't want to support are already disgraced. It will be before you. You will be asleep when Biafra will be realized. Before you wake up, my dear, you alone will be left in this country. Then, you will know what you have done to yourself. I think you enjoy the, 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 the intimidation. I don't think you are intimidated. I don't think you are, you are facing it. 
That is why you are saying all sorts of nonsense. I am not a Biafran, but I support the Republic because it pains me to see people being, being, being intimidation, intimidated and roughed. Do you understand? So my fellow Biafrans, don't be carried away. Remain absolute like I used to say. Be strong. Pursue the, the movement. The actualization is already at the doorstep. You are born to succeed. You are free. Your comment concerning what this man has just said is very important. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button.